Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, doing our New Moon Prediction Report for the month of February in the year 2023. And in today's video, we're going to tell you when it's likely that we will get the verification of the New Moon and how our new month will look, as well as some of the important days that are coming up in the month. Like Purin, we'll be talking about the dates of it as we progress through this video. Now, we're looking at the Gregorian calendar for the month of February, and you see that it appears that there is a new moon on February the 20th. But this, more than likely, is the 0% moon. And when we come over to timeanddate.com, we can verify this, that there was a 0% moon at 1.05 a.m. on February the 20th. The good thing about how the Gregorian calendar marks the 0% moon is that it always gives us a heads up. If it says that it's February the 20th, then on February the 20th is when we actually start looking for the verification of the new moon. But because it was seen at 1.05 a.m., chances are the first visualization will not be made until February the 21st at sunset. So let's look at when this new moon sighting falls on the sacred calendar. Of course, we learned in Enoch that we are given four seasons of 91 days apiece, ending with the day in which the nights and the days are equal. Now, according to our sundial, that day was March the 18th, which would mean that the first period of the year or the first gate of the year would start on or about March the 19th. And each season will correspond to June the 18th for the beginning of summer, September the 17th for the beginning of fall, and December the 17th for the gate that would be the tropical beginning of winter. And since the new moon is to fall on or about the 21st of February, that means that it's solidly in the winter season. And since each one of the gates in the winter season is 30 days long, February the 22nd will fall in the 12th month. So this sighting of the new moon will begin the 12th month on the sacred calendar. Which means that for those who are tracking the monthly calendar or the monthly calculation of the sacred calendar, the month Adar in the year 5994 would actually look like this where you would have the sighting on February the 21st, and then New Moon Day would be on February the 22nd. Their Sabbath days would actually be moving to Wednesday for this next lunation. But for those on the quarterly calculation, their monthly calendar for ADAR in the year 5994 would actually look like this, where you have New Moon Day on February the 22nd, but the Sabbath days will remain on Sunday until the next day of remembrance or the next seasonal day is added to the calendar, which will be around March the 22nd in the year 2023. Now, some of the events that are coming up in the 12th month, like always, will be Purim, which we read about over in the book of Esther, chapter 3 and chapter 9. How it starts on the 13th day of the 12th month and lasts through the 14th day. But just like on the monthly calculation, it would all start around March the 6th, depending on the sighting of the new moon, is when we'll have the dates for appearing, being on March the 6th and March the 7th. But there are some other special dates going on in this month, like what we read over in Genesis chapter 8, verses 6 through 12 when it's talking about Noah and the end of that flood. Well, some of those days that we read about in Genesis chapter eight will fall in the 12th month. And then we have some other days to consider, like the first day of the month, there was an event in the Bible back in Ezekiel chapter 32, where Ezekiel got a word from the Lord during that time of the month. You can read about that again in Ezekiel 32, talking about the lamentations for the king of Egypt. Then, um, like we talked about Purim in Esther chapter 3, and in chapter 9, we can read about those. 
events that'll happen around Purim, one of the minor feasts of the Lord or the post-exilic feasts of the Lord. Look for some links to some other videos we did on Purim and preferably we'll get to do some more videos coming up here soon about Purim. Then during the month, you have the story of evil Merodach, king of Babylon. You can read about him in Jeremiah chapter 52 and 2 Kings chapter 25. Primarily talking about the time in which he was taken out of prison, which would correspond to about March the 18th. And in a time he regained his power, which would correspond to March the 20th in this year. And then you have what we read about Aaron and the sanctification process over in the book of Jasher, chapter 82. Now, this is very important. We actually hear about this in Exodus chapter 29, but in the book of Jasher, it actually gives us the dates that the sanctification actually went down. So those are very important events occurring during the month, but the most important probably being Purim which is the Feast of the Breastplate or the Feast of Lots. That's a very misunderstood holy day as far as what we are supposed to be doing and what it means and all of that. So we pray that our Father will allow us to do some classes on the Feast of Purim so that we can get a better understanding of that. But the other day that we want to make sure we remember during this month is the New Moon Day which will likely be February the 22nd, depending on the sighting of the moon. That is the day when we should blow the trumpets to take advantage of that spiritual renewal we get every month. This particular new moon day will have special importance for me as we're in this transition period from the monthly calculation of the Sabbath day to the quarterly calculation of the Sabbath day. We realize that we may have gotten some of those Sabbath days wrong. And as a result, we stand in need of a spiritual renewal, which actually does away with a lot of those sins and stuff that we commit during the month. So be sure to take advantage of that. Again, blow your trumpets, clap your hands, yell, do something on the sighting of the new moon and for that particular day, the first day of the 12th month. So as far as the Enoch calendar goes, February the 22nd will fall right here at the beginning of the 12th month. And then, like we talked about, we'll have Purim during that particular gate, the month Adar. Be sure to leave us a comment on what you see as far as the new moon is concerned. Remember, it is a community thing that we report out on the sighting and the verification of the new moon. That way we can all stay on the same page and during our feasts and Sabbath days on the same day.